How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some of the really interesting key points that were mentioned over at TwitchCon 2019 during their opening ceremony. Now this video may go on a little bit longer than some of my usual videos, so be sure to get yourself comfy because this will take a little bit for us to get through, but I will try to go through it as quickly as possible. But if you're new to the channel, you're wanting to learn the stream, you're wanting to learn the technical side or how to grow your channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying that content. If you do need to reach out to me for anything, all the information you guys need is going to be in the video description below. So the first things first, channel trailer. This is something that they started off with when they were talking about redoing the entire actual website. So they, they are planning on doing a complete revamp. I don't have an actual like screenshot or anything of this just because they said that it is a mock-up it's not 100 percent accurate for what they want it to be so i did not want to give you guys any false information but they did leave it saying that they were going to be wanting to add channel trailers and i think this is fantastic because with streaming it's a little bit different channel trailers we're very familiar with that because of youtube but with YouTube, some videos can be, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes long. Some of them could be a full hour, depending on the channel you're going to. But with streaming, streaming is always going to be something to where you're going to find them streaming for two, three, five, six hours. So having a channel trailer for a streaming site, I think is genius. And the reason why is because not a lot of people are going to want to watch VODs for three hours to see if it's going to be something that they are going to want to follow. But if you have a 30 second to a one minute channel trailer that kind of tells everybody what your channel is all about, that's a different story. And that actually can benefit you a lot more. And you may even see better growth that way, too. So once they kind of implement that, then we'll be able to kind of see where that goes. I don't have a date as to when they are going to want to start implementing this. So I'm assuming probably going to be in 2020. Moving forward, though, now we're going to start talking about mods. So they, they were really putting a lot of emphasis on the mod tools and explaining how important mods are. And that is very true. The mods are a very important part of a streamer's channel and also can be very important to their own success. So for mods, they said they're going to be bringing in something called Mod View. And this basically allows you to create uh, to create in your PC, um, like in your PC browser, a layout that contains all the tools that you need, and you'll be able to see like all the like all the users chatting. You'll be able to see if you click on a specific user, every message that he or she has ever said, and then you'll be able to see how many times they were banned or timed out. You have this auto mod queue thing. You can move stuff around. There's a lot of customization options for it. And it's really cool. I do really like this. And they said it's going to be coming out in 2020. Now, for those who are not really tech savvy and are trying to find this one-stop shop for whatever it is that you're wanting to try to get everything situated for streaming and everything like that, Twitch has started working on for quite some time a thing called Twitch Studio. And this is basically a piece of software that Twitch is building from the ground up to getting people ready for streaming. Whether you are a beginning streamer or you are a seasoned streamer and you're just looking for a all-in-one type of software, from my understanding, it seems like that's what they're trying to do. And as we provide them with feedback and things that we would like to see them add into it, they will try to see if it's something that they would find beneficial for the mass amount of people trying to use it to make streaming a lot easier for them. Now that currently is in like a, it's in beta right now, but it will go into open access beta in November of 2019. So it's not too far away for, for a beta and everything. So that's pretty cool. Another thing they also mentioned was these things called quick actions. And this is going to be inside your dashboard. They are basically single buttons that you can execute different actions to make things a lot easier for you. In my eyes, it's kind of like a stream deck, but it's in your dashboard, so it's not too bad. But basically, it allows you to create different things like clear your chat. You can make a clip. You can start squad streaming. You can do emote only chat and just different stuff like that. And that's actually going to be coming next month, so October of 2019. So that's going to be pretty good. So here are some of the really bigger points for me. And... 
this is also going to be benefiting both affiliates and people who are just regular viewers. And it, it can also benefit partners too. So the first thing is channel points. So channel points is basically allowing the viewer to gain these points in different ways. And I'll throw the link in the video description below for you guys to read into all the different ways. But there's like this chart here that goes and explains all these different types of ways that you can gain points. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to take these points and you're going to eventually redeem them for different things. So if you're not a subscriber and one of the rewards that the streamer has created is that you get to use one of their emotes, you can redeem the points for that emote and you'll be able to use it in chat. Now the streamer itself has complete creative freedom as to what they can do in terms of rewards. So it's con it's entirely up to the streamer on how they want to go about the reward system and everything like that. So I think that's really great. So um, the other thing about this is it, it really makes it interactive and fun for the people who don't want to go and spend money on streams. And that's great because not everybody can do that. And by providing this, I think it's a really great alternative. So this will actually be available to affiliates in um, or affiliates and partners on uh, January of 2020. And then if you want to sign up for the beta for it, then the beta will be available um, pretty, pretty soon. But if you want to go and try to sign up for it, the link is going to be in the video description below. But basically it's twitch.tv forward slash, um, sorry, forward slash beta and then uh, channel points. So moving a little bit forward through the presentation, they went and talked about, um, and I'm surprised they didn't have this a while ago, but iOS users will now be available to subscribe through the mobile side of things. And I'm surprised they don't have that yet, but we'll, we will next month. So <laughs> in October of 2019, um, we'll be able to have the um, people who are on iOS to be able to subscribe through the mobile app which is great so here is the biggest one that i think a lot of people are going to be really really happy about and that is going to be that ad revenue is going to be available for affiliates this blew my mind because this is great and what makes it even better is the ads will not be played on non-partnered or non-affiliate channels. So when you see ads being played, you know it's going to benefit that streamer, whether they're an affiliate or they're a partner. And then they're, um, it says when you're going to be, when, when you run ads on your stream through like ad breaks and stuff, it's also going to disable the pre-roll ads on that channel. So that's really good too. But here comes the best part. Normally, whenever you think of ads, you think it's going to completely like shut the channel away from or like move, remove the, the viewing of the stream, right? That's, that's going to change. So what they call it is picture by picture viewing for ads. So basically what you're going to have is the ad will be dominant for the time that the ad is running. And then right above the chat, you're going to have the actual stream still visible and playing while the ad plays i think that is really good because you don't have to worry about ad blocker and now when you're not using ad blocker you're benefiting the streamer you're supporting that streamer by letting that ad run and you're still able to watch the stream while the ad goes which is great i love it i love it uh but that's definitely one of the biggest ones for me uh, so they're also going to be having it to where you can see inside your dashboard just like how much you're going to be making for those um, those ads. So you're not going to be guessing. So say, for example, that ad that ran, you got like $3. You know you're going to get $3. There's not going to be some guess on, am I getting only $1.50? Am I only going to get a dollar? You know, all that stuff is going to be right there, plain black and white. And you're going to be able to figure out just how much you're going to be able to make inside of the new dashboard and everything like that. I think I got everything. Let me just double check here. Yep, that is pretty much it. Yes, 
so yeah, that is that is like a lot of the stuff that I thought was really interesting. I know I could have gotten through this a lot faster and just kind of read it off to you guys, but I wanted to kind of give my own take on it and kind of explain how like my thought process is on some of it. And I think it's I think it's great for what they're doing. And I, I was not expecting any of this stuff. That's that's what I love about the the opening ceremony for TwitchCon. It is just mind blowing on so many different levels on what they are actually going to be doing for the platform. And this doesn't even scratch the surface. They're they're going to be working on some other things that they didn't even announce and that they couldn't even go into further detail. But this is great. Affiliates, partners. Viewers, we're all getting something out of being on the Twitch platform. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your own thoughts inside the comments section below. And if you guys are new to the channel, like I said, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future video or over on Twitch on a future stream. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.